When working with an operating system that is end of life, one of the many challenges we face is finding compatible software. Thankfully, for Windows Vista, that obstacle has essentially been removed. A community member by the name of WinClient5270 has compiled and continues to maintain a comprehensive list of software for Windows Vista. A link to this must-have list will be in the description. Let's talk for a moment about what order to install software in. Suppose we just installed Windows Vista. Where do we go from there? The first thing to do is open System Restore and create a new restore point. That way, if anything goes wrong, we have an undo button. If you are curious about what Windows operating system first included System Restore, follow the card above. The next order of business is to install drivers. We will save this process for a later video. However, the list does have some invaluable links for the last AMD and NVIDIA display drivers to support Vista, including a guide on how to modify the Windows 7 AMD Catalyst drivers up to version 15.6 beta to also work with Vista. After the drivers are installed, we have Windows updates. If we refer to the list, we have links to Windows Vista's Service Pack 1 and 2 for both 32 and 64-bit systems, complete with a note advising what order the service packs need to be installed in. After the service packs are installed, we can start using Windows Update to install the remaining patches. For information on the order to install updates in, follow the card above. If you have an issue with Windows Update getting stuck while checking for updates, the list includes a link to a video on how to fix it. Now we need a web browser. This is one of the best parts of the list. Instead of giving us one or two browsers that are compatible or telling us what the author thinks we should use, we have all the information we need to make an informed decision. If you are a fan of Chromium-based browsers, the list has options complete with version numbers and download links. If you prefer Mozilla Firefox-based browsers, the list has options for you as well. At this point, you may consider updating the system BIOS. While not mandatory, it is a good idea if the computer originally came with Windows XP. After deciding if you want to update the BIOS or not, we need some kind of antivirus installed on the PC. The list has some very important details about the compatible security software, like when support ended. Pick the solution that is best for you, and don't forget to let the software fully update the virus definitions. Our last step in the process is to install all the apps and games that we want. This is where the list really shines. These are tested, known compatible apps in every category, and some games to go along with it. Go dig into the list and have some fun. I want to thank WinClient5270 for having me on his channel. A link to my channel will be in the description.